I'm Peter Krasinski, um, a local Boston organist. I enjoy very much a career in playing silent movies on large instruments in beautiful spaces for classic silent films. I also have had a very satisfying career in teaching uh, both uh, elementary, middle school, and upper school students, and I'm a choral conductor and orchestral conductor and composer. Amplifying emotion is a great question because, for instance, there's the idea of if a gunshot goes off, uh, do you imitate the gunshot with a sound effect? And very often, a more effective thing is to actually create music that would make you feel like you would feel if you heard a gunshot. I like to think of improvisation as um, composition in real time. So when you're creating something as an improviser, whether it's in a jazz band, as a soloist, or as an organist, or anything, you've got a situation where um, you're creating something and the music should be flowing immediately out of you. Uh, that, that means that you have to have a lot of planning ahead of time, but the ultimate improvisation should in fact be just at that moment. And in terms of repertoire, it's, in my head, a really good idea to try to have the repertoire sound like that. In other words, the music is here. We have the written music of Bach. But he was famous as an improviser, and many of the music, much of the music that he wrote was actually improvised, and then he wrote down later. And to try to get that same feeling of freedom. <laughs> I become friends with all the different stops. As though I was an orchestral conductor and I wanted to really get to know all the people in the orchestra. I feel like the stops are like my friends and I have to get to understand them as opposed to put my, my own idea of what they should do onto them. Whether they're uh, electro-pneumatic instruments, tracker instruments, even electronic instruments, I try to find out what is the instrument having to say on its own terms. How does my touch make it sound the best? It's all really about how the organ sounds. What sort of depth does the key have to make the sound that I want it to make? And as things get bigger, on track of organs is more resistance. So by playing the hands in a certain way, you get a chance to get that feedback. It's a connection between the ear and the hands. The ear is always the king of the situation. And one of the things that I was just thrilled about was that this organ on this end of the church seemed to have a lineage, a sonic lineage, to the organ in the front of the church that was the Fisk that was here before because I knew that organ very well. I did a master's degree using that organ. Uh, and so when I came in, I started hearing sounds that, that were related 
to the old organ, it gave me a very good feeling. There was a wonderful continuum happening. And, and then I've heard from many people since that this organ sounds somehow very American to them. And there are great American builders such as Hook and, and, Hook and Hastings and um, many different American builders that informed Charlie Fisk as to what he was doing along with the European traditions. 